We are rapidly heading for Black Friday, the period when manufacturers offload all of their old stock ready for a fresh start in 2024. Now, whilst Black Friday is often used as a bit of a cynical marketing trick, it doesn't mean that there aren't some good deals to be had. And today I want to share with you some of the ones that I've spotted that I think are absolutely worth a look around some digital FPV goggles as well as some 3D printers. Now, just to be crystal clear up front, no one has asked me to make this video, but I am going to use it as an opportunity to share with you my thoughts on some of the deals, but also highlight that some of the products I'm going to talk about today I have reviewed on the channel, and there are affiliate links to them in the description as well. It is going to be down to you to decide if you feel that this is a shameless plug to drive clicks onto affiliate links, or am I simply trying to provide you honest information about some deals that are out there? Frankly, I give up on trying to win on these arguments. I'm just going to put the video out there and let people make the decision for themselves. If you want to buy the product, buy it. If you want to use the link, use it. If you don't, simply don't. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's talk about digital FPV goggles first of all. Now, we have three digital FPV systems on the market today. We have DJI, we have HD Zero, and we have Avatar HD. Now, there are no Black Friday deals as far as I've seen on HD Zero, but there are some offers to be had on DJI as well as Avatar HD. Cadex have just released the Goggles X, and whilst they are not on discount, you can get some pretty big price drops on the original Dominic HD goggle made by Fat Shark. There are also discounts to be had on the DJI goggles too as well, so if you've been waiting to get into that system, there is actually some good deals to be had as well. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Dominator HD from Fat Shark. These are the same goggle as the Avatar HD, the original goggle. They have pretty much all the same functionality with regards to Avatar HD as the Goggle X, apart from these ones will not do the 1080p 100 mode as we understand it, but they fully support 1080p 60, 720p 60 and 720p 100. DVR on board, race mode, and all of the Avatar HD stuff. So if you were looking to get into Avatar HD, you can actually get these goggles on a discount right now. They're available in America, the US, from Rotoriot for around $380. And if we hop over to the UK, you can get them for £371. This is the lowest price we have seen these goggles. It appears to be the case that Fat Shark are stock clearing these, but that for me is not an issue. If you're looking to get into Avatar HD with a set of goggles, but cheaper than Cadex are charging on the Goggles X, they are absolutely worth a look. Now, there is no link for those goggles here, so if you want to get them, you can go to Rotoriot, Hobby RC, or have a look around at your local dealer to see at whatever discounts there are. If you did want to order yourself a set of the Goggles X from Cadex, there will be a link to them, though, in the description. Moving over to DJI, and they do have some discounts on not only the Avata, but also the DJI Goggles 2 as well. So if we scroll down, they have reduced the price of the Avata Pro View Combo, that is the kit that comes with the goggles too and that's dropped from $1,428 down to $999. If you were looking to get yourself a set of the goggles too though they are also on discount and if you take a look they're available from $649 to $519 in the US and if we move over to the UK site they are $579 for the goggles too and it is for the Avata combo down to $8. Five, nine. Now, it is worth me mentioning on this that this is probably the lowest price that we have seen from these goggles on DJI. And the great thing about the goggles too is the fact that they not only work with O3, they not only work with the original ear units on that newer firmware as well, but you can use them with the Avata, the DJI FPV drone now as well, and a number of DJI's other consumer camera drones as well. The goggles too have pretty much the widest compatibility that we've seen from DJI today. And whilst not 
everything is perfect. They have done a very good job of supporting many of their other products. And whilst I do have a number of personal complaints with these goggles, with things such as the optics and the field of view and vignetting, they are still a very good product. And if you're interested in getting them or you've been waiting to get them, I would suggest now is the time because I don't see the price dropping on them much further. Now that Avata ProView combo is actually a really good deal when you look at it compared to what you get. For instance, as I've said, it is the kit that includes the DJI Goggles 2. It also has the DJI Love toy included as well, a battery and the Avata drone. The Avata is a very good quad. I actually have a review of it on the channel. I've used it extensively. Whilst, again, it's not perfect. It has a bit of a quirk if you push it very hard, especially in your turns. It is a very good cinematic type of FPV drone, much better than the original FPV drone in my opinion. Far more rigid, far more solid for new people who may crash it, and you're getting quite a lot for your money here considering this kit used to be over $1,400. Now the reality is DJI we believe are probably going to be replacing this drone as well as these goggles in the new year. However, here and now, if you want to get on board, it is definitely worth a look, and you have all of those benefits that I mentioned earlier on the goggles too with this kit again not only does it work with the Avata drone you can use this with the DJI FPV drone the DJI O3 ear units as well as the original ear units and some of their consumer drones giving you a huge amount of options now, just before we move on from DJI, it is worth me mentioning that there is also some discounts on the goggles Integra as well, but they're not quite showing that in the Black Friday deals. They have dropped the price of these down from 499 to 429 If you don't know what the goggles Integra are, they are a sort of cutback version of the goggles too. They don't have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality. They don't have the LCD display on the side, the touchpad. They have slightly different optics and a built-in battery, and they have a built-in GPS module for use with remote ID. And whilst they don't have all of the bells and whistles of the goggles too, they are still a good deal at that price, and you can get them for that $429. And the great thing about the Integra, just like the goggles too is that they work with the DJI Avata, the DJI FPV drone, the O3 ear unit, the original ear units, as well as some of the DJI consumer drones. The Goggles 2 and the Integra all have the same functionality with regards to compatibility. It's simply the differences in feature set, but from an RF point of view and an O3 point of view, they largely behave the same. But the only real downside on the Integra for FPV users is the fact that the antennas are fully integrated and non-replaceable. And when I say non-replaceable, they're not on MCX connectors like they are on the goggles too. You could get them off if you pull them hard enough, but you're going to then damage the goggles. Now, with regards to these goggles, I do just want to make it clear. We believe DJI is going to release some new goggles in the new year. That is likely the reason that they're doing stock clearance on these, or at least discounts. And it looks to be the case that Fat Shark are ending the Dominator HD. That isn't clear with regards to what is going to happen in the future. We have the new Goggles X from Cadex that obviously replace their version of these, but we've seen no hint of a new version of Goggle from Fat Shark yet. However, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. But as I've already said, I have zero issues recommending either of these products to people. They are both very, very good. So if you have been holding out for discounts, now is the time to go buy. Now, with regards to other manufacturers and companies, these in FPV. I'm aware that Beta FPV are going to have up to 15% off from the 24th of November and there may be some discounts from the likes of Radio Master and others. It isn't clear at the point of me making this video, but there will be links to them in the description if there are, so please do consider checking them out. Next, we're going to move on to 3D printers. Now, there are some discounts on some of the Bamboo printers as well as the Creality ones as well. Bamboo Lab have some discounts on the X1 as well as the P1 series. So, for instance, if we take a look in the UK, the X1 Carbon Combo is down from £1,440, basically, down to £1,199. They've dropped the price of the X1 Carbon alone down to £979, or you can get the P1S 
for 599 down from 639 or you can get the P1P for under 500 pounds. In the US, that pricing is $1,299 for the X1 Carbon Combo or $1,049 for the X1, $599 for the P1S as well as $539 for the P1P. These discounts are also available in Europe as well as a number of other countries and they will be available via the links in the description. Alongside these price drops on certain models, they're also bundling free gifts. So for instance, with the X1 Carbon Combo, they're giving you two free spools of filament as well. And they're also giving you six months of membership onto their Bamboo Labs filament scheme, which allows you to get discounts on Bamboo Lab official filament moving forward. With regards to the P1S specifically, it's worth me mentioning that the discount is on both the standard as well as the combo, because remember, the P1S with the AMS module does cost more money. So if we look in the US with the AMS module and two free spools of filament, it is down to 849. That is down from 999. Whereas if you want the P1S on its own, you can get that for 599. And again, they're giving you two free spools spools of filament with that one. It is worth me mentioning that these free spools of filament are on a first come first serve basis for a limited number of sales only. They do have this listed on the website as I'm showing it here on screen. So please do make sure you read this before placing your order to ensure that you do fully understand the terms and conditions of the offer that is available. The absolute bargain here, in my opinion, is the P1P for $540. However, for just $60 more, you can actually get the P1S without the AMS module, and that is giving you the fully enclosed printer, allowing you to do things such as ABS and other temperature sensitive filaments. And that, in my opinion, is probably the best deal of all. And again, you're getting those two free spools of filament with that as well. It is great to see Bamboo Lab offer some discounts on these printers. I have reviews on the X1 Carbon as well as the P1S on this channel. They are phenomenal printers and there are links to order them in the description if you want to. Now alongside the bamboo printers there are discounts available on the Creality K1 series as well. This is rather interesting because the K1 isn't actually that old. It is a little bit of a kick in the teeth for early adopters but it is a decent deal for people who want to purchase today. Now the discount available on the K1 standard model is very large. It has been dropped from $599 down to $399, giving a $200 discount over the original price. Its bigger brother, the K1 Max, has been dropped from $899 to $719, giving you a $180 discount. Again, a substantial price drop over the original price this printer was at not too long ago. Now again, there will be a link to both of these printers in the description. I have reviewed the K1 series on this channel as well. I only had the original K1 printer, not the K1 Max. I think it's a very interesting printer, especially now at that substantial discount down from 599 to 399. However, if it came down personally for me recommending between say the K1 and the P1 series, I would absolutely push to get yourself the bamboo rather than the Creality. It is simply a better printer in every way. It is better from a quality, from a printing point of view and a reliability point of view as well. And whilst Creality have done a good job on the K1, it has been suffering from some very real issues and they are not remotely at the level that bamboo are at today in my opinion. There are also some other discounts out there on a number of other products as well. For instance, Bluetti are doing a price drop on some of their portable power stations. Again, I have discussed them on the channel before, and if you're interested in getting one, there will be a link to that in the description as well. Or again, you can go directly to their website. 
Finally, on the 3D printers, as I've said, the bamboo discounts are really good to see. They are not a company that I've seen generally do large discounts, but there are deals to be had if you have been waiting to get yourself one of their printers. I am going to be reviewing their new A1 Mini on this channel in the next couple of weeks. I have it right now. I'm finishing my initial review testing, and I'm going to be putting the content together on that in the near future. And if you're interested in seeing that, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you're interested in seeing any of the reviews on the products that I've talked about here today, they are on this channel somewhere. I'll put a link to the printer reviews and I'll put a link to the goggle reviews below as well. I may do it in the comment section rather than in the video description, but I will try and put them there for you so you can have a look and make up your own mind. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. More than anything, it's a bit of a heads up. If you want to spend some money, there's some deals to be had. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.